have some pictures here of some people who went on to do some pretty impressive things and be kind of famous in their area of expertise, but these are pictures of them as a baby. So first we're going to take a look and see if you can pick anybody out without me giving any clues. What do you think? Yeah. Do you see anybody? What do you think? What do you think? Close up. Does somebody look kind of like you might know somebody? Pick her. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to give a clue about this. Oh, you got one? No, but that was Ruby Bridges. Is that who you meant? Yes, that is, that's not her, but that was a good guess. That is actually kind of what she looked like in her walk. You are right. Okay, we're going to start with this picture here in the corner. I don't know if any of you can see it back there. But we're going to start out with this picture. This is someone who was famous from like the late 50s till the late 80s, maybe early 90s, in the music field. Was someone who kind of started rock and roll. What do you think? Got a guessies? Elton John, who else? Elvis Presley, correct. This is Elvis Presley. Okay. All right, down here, we have a picture of someone who is a famous, who was a famous architect. Very famous in our area, who built a lot of built a lot of houses and buildings in Oak Park. You got it? Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright. You're right. There you go. Very good. Okay. Now, down over here in the very bottom, it's the only one of the pictures of I have of somebody who is still alive. It's someone who was in the political field. He's still in the political field. Someone who made a lot of changes in our lives just recently. Maybe, huh? Born in Hawaii. <laughs> who is it? Oba. Oba. Okay. Got two more. Right here, this is someone who was a great scientist. And he had particularly kind of a formula that we say a lot. He had kind of crazy hair as life went on. Who do you think it is? Albert Einstein, that's right. And I have one more up here. This is a woman who was a very famous poet. And Leslie knows, a very famous poet and uh, standing up for people's rights and through her words made us aware of many things. Go ahead, Leslie. Who is it? It is Maya Angelou. So I want you to think about all of these people when they were born. Did their parents look at them and say, you are going to be special someday. You are going to be a great musician, a great scientist, a great poet a great architect, a great inventor, a great people of, lover of people. Do you think they said that, Karen? Or did they just say, this is the cutest baby I've ever seen, and I just love her. <laughs> they maybe hoped that something special would happen, but they probably couldn't predict what would happen. Oh, sure, absolutely. Absolutely, pass around, sorry. There you go. Okay, so that's what our story is about today. About a month and a half after Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph, it was part of what they had, the law was in their country, that they would take, let, we'll just imagine this is what Mary and Joseph looked like, we are not really sure, that they would take their baby to the temple, to the church, and have the baby dedicated. Now, in the church that we came from, um, before we came here, Austin Boulevard, we would bring our babies to be dedicated instead of having them baptized. You would bring your baby and it would be dedicated and you would say, yes, I want my baby to grow up in the church and I want to be a part of God's life. And so that's what they were doing. And part of what they had to do is they had to bring something 
that was like an offering, and they brought two turtle doves. Why don't you pass that down so everybody can see that? They brought two turtle doves along to the service. Now, the interesting thing was they were very excited to bring their baby there, and for and because they knew already, because the angel had come to Mary, the angel had come to Joseph, they already knew that Jesus was going to be something special, and that there was a plan for Jesus. But there was two people waiting there. If you heard what Claudia was reading, there was Simeon, who had been waiting his whole life to meet baby Jesus because God had told him that before he dies, he will meet the one. So he'd been waiting, working very hard in God, doing God's work. And the same with Anna. They both were waiting to see this baby. Well, the day finally came when they were at the temple and Mary and Joseph came with the baby and they could not believe it because they knew how special this baby was and what there was to come. Now our parents might not look at us and think knowing exactly what the plan is, but we can know that there is a plan for each and every one of us that is set by God that says we will have a life that has purpose, that we will do something that will be wonderful, whatever that will be, if we trust in God and we follow the life that God has for us and we love one another, nothing can be more special than that. Let us pray. Dear God, you brought us the gift of this baby. Help us to remember the plan that you had for Jesus, that you also have awesome plans for each and every one of us to do your work to love one another, to be a part of this world in a loving and kind way. Amen.